All right, we're gonna give it a second while everyone is starting to stream in. Um, Christine, how are you? Good to see you. It's good to Hello, see you too. Everyone. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. All right, we are, are we ready to go? We are now make live sure we are on Facebook. Perfect. All right. Welcome, everyone. Those of you that don't know me, I am Lynn Lilly, a DIY and craft expert and a Michaels maker. Um, and we are streaming here on Zoom and on Facebook. So you get us both places. And today I am so excited because I am here with Christine Kim. Say hi, Christine. Hello. <laughs> and Christine is such a special guest because she is an animator from Skydance on the brand new movie Luck, which is out today on Apple TV+. Plus. So uh, she's got the big poster behind her. <laughs> it is so cute. Um, so we're going to do a couple different things today. You're going to get to see the talent that Christine has later in the broadcast. She's going to teach us how to draw Bob, which is a adorable, cute main character in the movie. And another part of the movie is all about a luck box. And so I'm going to teach you how to make that. So before we get started, I just want to go over a couple things. Um, whether you're watching on Facebook or on Zoom, you can say hello to us. So if you want to say hello and you're watching on Zoom, you can drop that in the chat. And if you're on Facebook, you can just comment below say where you're watching from. We'll do some shout outs later. And then if you do have a question, you can go to the Q&A if you're watching on Zoom. And that's where I'll be able to monitor your questions and we'll get those questions answered as quickly as we can. And on Facebook, you can drop your questions in the comments as well. All right, Christine, should we get started? Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> do you want to give them a quick a little intro about you and the movie before I start crafting? Yeah, um, hello, hello everyone. <laughs> My name's Christine. I'm a visual development artist uh, here at Skydance Animation. Um, I am the visual development artist for Luck and Luck is, um, oh gosh, Luck, what can I say? It's about a girl who is in for an adventure when she meets a cat and um, she runs herself into finding this just amazing creatures, um, fun characters, and you guys are down for a good treat. <laughs> and so yeah, that is that is a big rundown, a general rundown. I, I love it. And I got to watch it a little early with my daughter and she absolutely loved it. The visuals on the movie are beautiful and the story mm -hmm. is heartwarming and cute and my daughter kept asking when she could watch it again I'm like honey you got to watch it early then you got to wait till it comes out on Friday which is today so um after we wrap this up friends you can head over to Apple TV plus and watch the movie all right Christine I'll be back to you in just a few minutes and you're going to teach us how to draw Bob for the movie but I'm going to show you how to make a luck box so Hazel in the movie has a luck box and what that is is a box where you collect those lucky things and so we're going to make one today using what is a shoe box. So I have just a white shoe box, but I saw someone ask a question and they said they only have a heart shaped box. That's totally fine. You can use any shape box you want. And I'm going to give you some inspiration to make it and then you can make it your own. So I think we're probably ready to switch to top down and I'm going to show you everything that you need. All right. So like I said, I've got a box. You can pick one up from Michael's. If you've got one at home, you can grab one or any shape will work. So I am going to start on the front of my box. I'm gonna take my lid off for the time being. And I actually already put a piece of construction paper on it. So I've got my Creatology construction paper here. We're going to use that. We're going to use some adhesive foam that you see here. So this is the adhesive foam that has that sticker back to it. So it's sticky when you pull that off. And then I've got some jewels some pom-poms and some fun glitter sticker letters, okay? So I went ahead and did some prep beforehand, but some of those things that you think might be lucky or bring you luck, whether it's a horseshoe or a four-leaf clover, you can cut out and create things that you think would be lucky. And they can be on the construction paper. They can also be on the adhesive foam. So we're gonna start on the front of our box that I covered with my construction paper. And I'm gonna put my horseshoe right there. 
And then I'm going to put the letters luck box right up here. So you can choose to add whatever you would like. And you can personalize this with any colors that you would like to. And maybe different things have different meanings to different people. All right, we're going to do a few shout outs from Facebook. So let's hear who we have tuning in that said hello from Facebook. Hi, Sierra from Pennsylvania. Hey, Donna from Johns Creek. And Catherine from California. All right. So we've got our front of the box. You can do as much or as little as you want. So we're going to set that there. And then I'm going to do my lid really quick. So here's where we're going to have some fun. I like to personalize things. So I'm making this one for my daughter. And I've got another one over here that I made for me, which I'll show you in a sec. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that adhesive foam. So this comes in a giant pack with all different colors. And I cut three pieces. And it's like a giant sticker. So I cut three pieces that are going to cover the top of my box. Okay. Just like that. And you can find all of the supplies that I'm using today at Michael's, mainly in the kids section. So these are all Creatology products. You can get them online as well. So a couple different options to shop. And then you can also mix and match with maybe some things that you have at home too. All right. So we put our three things right there. And then again, we can add some things. I think unicorns are pretty lucky. So I made a unicorn horn. Okay. And then I'm going to put my daughter, Lily's name, who I know is going to be so excited about this because she loves the movie so much. I'm going to put her name right there on the top, just like that. And then I also cut out some clovers. So I'm going to take some of my Elmer's glue that I have here and just put a little bit of glue on the back. You can use your liquid glue. You can also use a glue stick too. Okay. All right. We'll do some shout outs from Zoom in just a few minutes. Do we have any other people to say hello to on Facebook? Hey, Janine from New Jersey. And hey, Gail from Missouri. All right. So to finish off my box, I'm going to do a little bit more later, but I just wanted to get you going with some inspiration. I'm going to put another unicorn horn up there. And then Creatology has these really fun gems that just make everything a little bit more sparkly. So you can add some gems and they all come in different shapes and sizes. And these letters that I use are also sticky back. You can get those in the kids section. They are stickers and they come in a giant pack. I'll show you the pack so you guys can see those of you that are gonna go look for those. They come in a giant pack, they're called foam stickers. They are a staple in my household. I have them for my daughter and we use them 24 seven because she likes her name on everything. Last but not least, I've got some pom-poms. These are really fun yarn pom-poms. They come in a big pack with a whole bunch of different colors. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line with my glue where I want my pom-poms to go. So I made a little zigzag line there. And then I'm just going to take my pom-poms. And in no particular order, I am going to put them right on. So this is a fun and easy craft. You could do this craft while you're watching the movie or maybe right after. Because my daughter wanted a luck box right after she watched the movie. So... She is going to be very excited about this one. All right. And that is really all to creating your own luck box. So then what comes after is figuring out those things that you think are lucky that would go in your luck box. So let's see, we've got our side here and then we put our top on. I'm going to show you one more real quick. Okay. So we've got that box there. So I made this one a little earlier. You can see this one has my name on it and you can do tons of different things. We put a rainbow through the center because I think rainbows are really lucky. And then you can also decorate the inside. So I put a little clover on there and I lined it with some of my adhesive foam. And then your kids can collect all those things that they think are lucky. And then this is the front of this one. So two different fun ideas for your kiddos and the kids that are watching to create their very own luck box at home. If you guys are watching and you like that project, uh, if you're watching over on Facebook, give us a heart, give us a thumbs up. You can tell us in the chat if you liked it. We love your feedback. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the next 
portion, which is um, going to be amazing. I'm so excited. So Christine is going to teach us how to draw Bob which is the cute black cat from the movie. And I'm going to say a few hellos on Zoom over here real quick because I got a lot of people. All right, so I've got Marissa. And if we want to switch back to the hosted cam real quick so you don't have to see my head. <laughs> okay, perfect. We've got Marissa. Hello, thanks for tuning in. We've got Tyler from Florida. We've got Makita. We've got Mary Grace. Um, we've got, gosh, there are so many people. We've got AJ and Sadie from Charleston. Uh, we've got Daylin from North Carolina. All right, friends, keep those hellos coming. And remember, if you have a question on Zoom, send it to that Q&A. All right, I'm going to toss it over now to Christine, who's going to get us started drawing Bob. Hey, hello, everyone. Hello, my young artists um, and artists of all ages. <laughs> um, Bear with me, I'm a bit nervous. This is my first time live, um, but it's great seeing you all. All right, so we're going to draw Bob, um, and Bob is actually my favorite character in the film. Um, so this is uh, the this is Bob, and this is what we're going to be drawing for today. Okay, so I'm going to place this right here. All right, let's get started. Um, so all you need is a pencil and um, a pencil and a paper. Um, I use a blue pencil just in case, um, and we're just going to do an underdrawing. So um, you don't have to be so um, strong with your lines. Uh, you can make it as light as possible. But for Bob, let's start with a circle. So we're going to start the circle right at the top here. And I and hope you guys Christine, can see that. Mm -hmm. Can you press a little bit harder so we can see it just a little yes. bit darker on the screen? Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see that? Okay. All right. Yeah. So we're going to start Great. with a circle. It does not have to be perfect. You don't have to make it perfect at all. This is just to start. So we're going to now add some lines. This is a guideline to indicate where we're going to place all the features. So we're just going to draw a line down. And Bob's body is about three heads. So if you measure it with your pencil, it's one, two, three. And I'm sorry, it was a, um, a three heads and a half. So um, we could just put a line right there. It does not have to be three heads and a half. You can make him any height you want because Bob is just Bob. Um, you don't have to. <laughs> He's a cat, and so you don't have to make it so specific, um, but yes. All right, so we got our lines down. Now, in this, this guideline is very important. We're going to draw half a circle on the bottom, and then another half circle on the other side. So just draw that, okay? And then we're going to draw another one, but right behind the half circle. So just like that. And what's great about this is you could just follow and do copy the same way on the other side. And then we're going to make a big oval right behind, and you could overlap too. Um, you could do whatever you wish because this is just an underdrawing, so it's not going to really show up. This is just so we could know where we're going to place his legs, his paws. Okay, and then uh, let me know if I'm going too fast. Um, we're Christine, going to why don't we break? Christine, let's, we'll pause one second just to give okay. everyone a chance to get caught up. Mm, I want to yeah. know what was your favorite part of working on Lux the movie while we let our, our little artists catch up? Yeah. Um, oh my goodness. It was, it, it was, I felt like a truly lucky girl to be <laughs> in this <laughs> film. Um, I felt like I was Sam as I, as I saw the story progress, how we designed each character. Um, 
I loved when we, in the beginning, we had to figure out how to make out, uh, make the luck world. And, um, you know, you never really hear stories about luck or uh, mm -hmm. just world in a new dimension and Fred Warder, our great production designer, um, Peggy, our director, they were just so um, willing to be open-minded and hear all of our artists' um, ideas and um, I just loved working with the team. The team was truly one of the best team I've ever worked with um, and it, it was just so great because we got to be creative and we also mm -hmm. wanted to incorporate every culture in this movie and that's I, that's something I really take um, take to heart, and it's something very mm -hmm. special to me, um, just because it could represent every um, different nationality, ethnicity, mm -hmm. and we could really understand what luck. I mean, luck is so universal, and so yep. um, I think that is what was really exciting, just to incorporate and share my story of what luck mm -hmm. is, and um, incorporate with other people and other. Um, lives artists um, have gone through with luck too. <laughs> yes. And I will say after seeing the movie, all of those things translated. So everything you just said, I'm like, yes, yes. After watching the movie. So, um, uh, all right. Yeah. I think our, I think our young artists are ready to go so we can okay. move on. Awesome. All right. And then we're, we're not done with the sheets guys. <laughs> we're going to draw another circle, like a long, like an oval shape in the middle, just above, just above the uh, legs or the ovals. And then once you're done with that, we're going to draw a curved rectangle. And you could guess what that is. <laughs> I'm going to guess that's Bob's collar, right? You guessed right, Lynn. You are very <laughs> smart. <laughs> yeah, then something important is on that collar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and there's something that makes Bob distinct. Um, and we have to mm -hmm. make sure draw this, this circle in between. So let's draw that. And it does not have to be perfect, guys. I'm an artist, I work as an artist, and nothing ever turns out perfect. <laughs> and so <laughs> do not worry if it does not turn out the way you want. You always have a handy dandy eraser. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add more lines. Okay. And so let's draw right below the halfway point. So this is like the halfway, but right below. So it doesn't have to be way too far from the middle, but just here, just draw a line. And if you don't wanna draw lines, it's totally fine. You could just pretend, or you could just see it on, envision it. Um, I just think uh, shapes are just very, very important, but it's all up to you. Now we're going to draw another shape down here. And it's going to be a loop. So right above the circle, we're going to draw like that and hit this line here. Then we're going to extend it and go like that. And Bob has like cute cheeks. He has a very almond <laughs> ahead and that's what I love about Bob his head is so cute um, it, it is so cute. it is yeah and we're going to do the same thing on the other side and guys if you ever need um assistance or if you need to um see this again it'll be recorded mm -hmm. and um, uploaded right and so you guys could yep. watch this again and go over it with uh, your friends and family. Um, but yeah, all right. So we have the shape of his head. Ah, oh, this is exciting. Oh, it looks so <laughs> cute. And Christine, just um, on that note, if they're watching on Facebook, the replay will be ready right when we end. And then uh, the video should be up on Michael's website, usually within 24 to 48 hours. You can rewatch it. Okay. So we have his head. 
Now, I want us to just draw a small line here, like right below the line. I know there's a lot of guidelines. Um, okay, <laughs> now the last, you know, actually shapes are always a thing about characters. Um, all right, we're going to draw his ears now, because what makes Bob a cat? His ears. So from the middle between these two lines, we're going to start drawing his ears. And you can make them any shape you want, as long as it's pointy and it looks, oh, so sorry. I forgot one more line down here. Oh my goodness. I <laughs> apologize. I deeply apologize. <laughs> one more. So these are just to know where we're going to place his eyes and everything. But from here, we're going to, let's see, I made a mistake too. <laughs> We're going Everyone to... makes mistakes, right? <laughs> and that's okay. Sometimes so... they're happy accidents. <laughs> yes, and mistakes and accidents actually turn out to be a part of movies too. And um, we love to keep that. Um, all right. <laughs> so he has big ears. Bob has great big ears. And so we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, Christine, while we're doing that, we'll do a few shout outs really quick from Facebook. Hi, Iris from New York. Thanks for tuning in. Katie says, this is so cool, Christine. She's loving oh. it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And Patricia from Tennessee. All right, keep those shout outs coming. If you're watching on Zoom, you can chat us. And if you're watching on Facebook, drop those comments. All right, go ahead, Christine. All right. So we're going to draw another line because Bob needs to hear. It's just to indicate and give it a little 3D dimension. Oh my goodness, guys, we have his ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> his ears are so cute. <laughs> now, his eyes. Now, this is what I love about Bob's eyes and his nose. Um, they're just so big. <laughs> eyes are so big. And so within the circle and this line, if you can see where I'm pointing to, you could just shape his eye like that. And he has like an almond shaped eye, but you could make it circular. You could make it whatever shape uh, you feel is right. Um, you could play along with that, but Bob has, in the movie, he has a very like almond shaped eye. So we could just go like that. And then we're gonna do it again on the other side. Christine, you are making this so easy. I know everyone is loving it. Um, we Aww. have Ireland who says, this is awesome. I'm loving it because I am not a great drawler. I can craft to high heavens, but I'm not a great drawler. And I feel like I am actually creating a drawing that looks like Bob. You're such a great teacher. Oh, I, the thing is, I'm not a crafts person. So watching you do the crafts, <laughs> I'm like, that looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll share each other's creative yes. energy. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, and we got his outer eyes. And then now we have to draw his pupils. So his pupils, quite big. We're just going to fall, make a large oval shape within the outline. Like that. Right. He got his eyes and you could color it in <laughs> later or after. This is just an underdrawing, so. And Christine, when you say an underdrawing, can you explain to our audience exactly what that means? Yeah, so um, when I'm not sure if this is, I'm speaking for all animators, but um, what I like to do is this is just um, to give you um, guidelines of where 
you want to place and um, where you want to place the features and where you want your line to be. So you can make a mistake. It's just to give you um, just direct you where you want to draw and where you want that line to be like, that is the line I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should I continue with the nose? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. All right. Now, his nose, his cute nose. Okay, so right above the chin, right here, we're going to make a very light line. It's not exactly in the center, but it could be in the center, whatever you wish. Um, and then right between these, this little box right here that we made, we're going to draw a line in the middle. going to do a little loop like that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> All right, we've got Allie on Zoom who also says this is so cute. She loves Aww. it. <laughs> Thank you. So it's designed by Mario Guitars, I think, and he's amazing. But this cat, uh, he's just so adorable. <laughs> he is really cute. All right. Now we're going to draw a line at the top, a slanted line. It'll just hit that line above. And we're going to draw another line in the bottom. Now we're going to draw his mouth. And so right underneath, we're going to make a smile. <laughs> ah, Bob <Bob's> smiling. <laughs> <laughs> and then just uh, a little tuck here, little line. All right. And then we're going to connect this. So we're going to make a slant here and here. And then we're going to make another loop down and up. We've got oh. Dalen who says, Bob the cat is just so adorable. Aww. <laughs> Okay, now he needs eyebrows. So we're going to give him a slant right above there, right above the pupil. Again, we're gonna do that one more time. All right, and then Bob is in the, is in the cat without his whiskers. So <laughs> we're going to add three, just three, one, two, Three, now we're gonna do it again. One, two, three. And then if you want, you could just add whiskers here too. It's, it's just by personal preference. Um, one, two. All right, oh my goodness, there's Bob. Ah! <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> He's alive, not... he's got a face. <laughs> yeah. But not really alive because he needs a body. So yep. <laughs> we're going to draw and finish up his body, which is very, very easy and simple, or at least I hope it's simple. Um, we're going to finish up his neck down here. So we're going to make a very light line in the middle of this oval. And why we have this oval is to give it that shape. He, will, he has to have a chest, so we're going to make a slight V at the bottom, like that. And the oval is to kind of help you draw. It's like a curved V, okay? And then from the top where we have our collar, we're going to go down and hit that line. And then we're going to make an, a very, very slim S shape. So we're going to go 
two. And then you could overlap this oval. It just it does not have to be there, but we're going to go like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, and Christine, while we're finishing that side, do we have some shout outs from Facebook? Yeah. Hi, Sherry from Oklahoma. Hi, Alexina from Nova Scotia. Awesome. And Sierra says she is loving that. She loves Bob and the love box. And if you're watching Aww. on Facebook and you're enjoying this, Make sure you give us a harder thumbs up or feel free to share it with your friends. We love to share the crafty and creative love. All right. I think we're ready to go to the next okay. step. All right. Now we got his, his uh, front paws or his front, front arms. The arms are like, I don't really know. <laughs> but um, All right. So from here where the V is, we're going to make another loop and then we're going to connect it with the oval and then we're just gonna do that draw over the oval so we're going to do the same thing on the bottom that all right and then we're going to do his pause so all you have to do is just one, two, and then one, two. And what I like to do is I just like to add a bit of like that a nice U shape to just show that it's his, it's his pause. Mm -hmm. Again. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the back. So there we go. And while you're drawing those, we'll say hello to Olivia from Atlanta. Olivia, you are my neighbor. I am in Atlanta. Thanks for tuning in. Right. Oh, yeah. And then we have a few more. We're almost done. <laughs> Cat, uh, a cat needs a tail. Bob needs a tail. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. this, you can be very creative, whatever shape you want with uh, Bob's tail. Cats have, their tails are just another character. So I'm just going to do an S shape curve. You could make it go down, um, straight up, whatever shape you would like. All up to you. Oh, we have his tail, and then we have the last, last shape, guys. We're almost done. <laughs> what I am, I am anxious to see the last shape because Bob looks so cute right now. <laughs> but you know what makes Bob Bob? His color, and he's different from the cats because he has that clover right in the middle mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. that circle. And so this is just an example. You don't have to draw it um, here, but. Just to give you guys a close up, what I like to do is clovers are really hard to draw, <laughs> but I like to draw hearts. Heart, and then we're gonna do an upside down heart right here. And then uh, one at the right, and then another at the left. And it kind of looks like clover. <laughs> And so you could do that very lightly in the collar. Sharp enough, but it's okay. Just so, Christina, mm -hmm. as an animator, after you get done with this step, what would be your next step in the process of bringing Bob to life? So what we do is um, once we're down with the design, 
we send it off uh, to our 3D modeler and our 3D modeler sees um, Bob. And we have to make sure uh, we give them different um, positions of Bob. So Bob, when he's laughing, when he's moving, just to indicate what yeah. he looks like in 3D formation. And then once we send that packet over to a 3D modeler, they make him Bob, at the Bob you see in Bob. the movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a cool process. It is. It's it's amazing. This team is just incredible. They I I can't I they're just too good. <laughs> well, but you yeah. are getting lots of praise on both Facebook and here on Zoom. Everyone loves this and Christine, I will tell you, I've got a bob sitting in front of me and I never thought I could draw this. So you're an oh, amazing teacher. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh my goodness. Lynn, it looks amazing. <laughs> right. I like this is a, like I I did had no idea that I could do this. <laughs> and it's thanks to you. <laughs> you did such a great job. My goodness. I, <laughs> see, well, thank you. Only an because artist. I truly that there any <laughs> right. Well, art is definitely interpretive, right? That is the fun part about crafting and art. It's really all about what you love and expressing yourself. Um, so there's no right or wrong to it. Yes, that is very true. Oh, I also forgot. Since this is an underdrawing, you could use a pencil um, and just um, really now start making the lines darker, um, whatever you want with this drawing. You could be like, I like the blue drawing. You could be like that, or you could, you could shade a bit, um, whatever you wish. What I like to do, I guess, for me, I like to just make sure they're slightly darker just so I know I like this line. I want this line. And yeah, this is basically Bob. We did it. Yes. <laughs> well, Christine, this was amazing. I know that everyone loved it. I've been watching all the comments. Um, so before we sign off, can we switch back to the dual cameras with me and Christine so we can say goodbye and remind everyone where they can watch the movie. All right. Well, we are so thankful that you all tuned in. Those of you that watched on Zoom, that watched on Facebook, we hope that you enjoyed it. You learned something. Don't forget if you do share this awesome drawing that I'm sure you just did and looks amazing. Don't forget to use the hashtag make it with Michaels. We also want you to tag the movie. Um, there is, we want to see everything that you're doing. Um, and Christine, if you want to remind everyone um, where they can watch the movie and that it is out today. Yeah, you can watch it on Apple TV. Um, it's released today. So go ahead and be sure to support and just um, really enjoy this movie. It's a great movie. I just love the message. and It's, it's all about love and just um, luck mm -hmm. and uh, just an adventure you'll be enjoying. <laughs> Yes, and I will say as a parent who watched it with my four and a half year old, it was a great movie filled with lots of great lessons. I loved the movie and was thoroughly entertained the entire time and she loved it and keeps talking about it. So I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, you're welcome. Well, okay, Chrissy, we got to get together again. You can teach me how to draw. I'll teach you how yes. to craft. <laughs> I really, yes, please teach me how to craft. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Well, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Go watch Luck right now on Apple TV Plus. You will love it. We promise it could be a fun Friday night, weekend thing with your family. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Michael's has got tons of classes coming up. So make sure you check those out. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye.